Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I don't know what I'm going to call it just yet, but when I look at it, I think of chocolate wasted. I want to get chocolate wasted. If you know what movie that's from, comment it down below. But yeah, I was just feeling like I really wanted to do a monochromatic warm brown makeup look so this is what i came up with it's super super easy if you guys have trouble when it comes to creating a really basic smoky eye the technique that i use in this video is like what you need to know to create the easiest smoky eye of your life so if you do find this video helpful and if you do enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below and with that being said let's get into it alrighty guys so to start things off I'm firstly going to prime my face I'll be using the Guerlain radiance concentrate with pure gold primer I don't know if it's the change in weather but my skin has been kind of breaking out lately so this primer has a lot of good ingredients in it it's not only a primer but I feel like it has like skincare benefits within it so this is pretty much all I've been using lately next up for foundation today I'm gonna to be using the hourglass vanish stick foundation I haven't used this bad boy for a long time so I saw it in my collection and I decided that I was going to use it for this tutorial. So this one is in the shade Warm Ivory and as you can see I'm pretty much just drawing it onto my face and then I'm using the Sigma F80 flat kabuki brush to blend it in. Moving on to correcting the darkness underneath my eyes. Today I'm using the Becca under eye brightening corrector. As you can see it's like a peachy salmony pink tone so that's really going to help to brighten up that area underneath my eyes and I'm just using the Models Prefer airbrush concealer brush to blend that in to that area. For concealer today I'm going to be going in with of course the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm using the shade Light Medium and I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes as well as highlight other areas of my face. So down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin. And of course I'm just using a dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques to blend it in. I'm quickly going to set all that concealer in place with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. As usual I'm just using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush to set all of that in place. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Petal and I'm just using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush to pat that onto my face. As you can see, I've zoomed you guys in. I'm going to get started on the eyes now and finish off the face a little later. But firstly, I'm going to prime the lids with the NYX Eyeshadow Base and I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. So just applying this all over the lids right up to the brows and then once it's blended in, I'm going to set it in place with some more translucent powder. So for this look today, of course, I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. The first shade that I'm going to take is this one right here. This is Pukey. There she is. And I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So this is going to be my transitional crease shade. As you can see, I'm just running this back and forth through the crease and blending it as I go. So I'm just running this shadow all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eyes. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and define that crease a little more. So I'll be taking this shade right here. It's a darker matte brown shade, very warm in tone though. And I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So I'm really gonna work that right into the crease just to define the eye. All right, so I've got those colors in my crease. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the shade for my lid. So I'm gonna be taking the dark matte brown from the palette. This is Central Park. And I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. And what I'm gonna do with this shade is pack it onto my lid and blend it up towards those crease shades. So once I've got that shade all over my lid and it's the intensity that I want, I just go back in and blend. So just taking the two brushes that I used earlier, just to blend at the edge so there's like a really nice and smooth transition from the lid to the crease. Sometimes when you're working with dark colors, it might seem like you can't get it right, but trust me, all you have to do is just continuously blend, keep on blending, and eventually the look will come together. 
So when it comes to the bottom lash line, I'm pretty much going to mimic what is going on on the top for the bottom. So I'm firstly going to go back into that peaky shade and I'm using the Zoeva 220 Luxe Pencil Brush and what I'm going to do is smoke this out along my bottom lash line. Next up, I'm going to go back into Mocha and I'm using the same brush to smoke that along my bottom lash line once again. And then of course, I'm going to go back into the Dark Matte Brown Essential Park and I'm using the Sigma E30 Pencil Brush to apply this along my bottom lash line but keeping it much closer to the lashes to really help to define the eye. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I am of course going to go into Beam. I love this shade for highlighting the eyes. So I'm just using the Zoeva 238 Lux Precise Shader and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes as well as my brow bones. Next up, I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then going in with a light coat of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I will be applying falsies after this, so I'm keeping the mascara pretty light on the top and a little heavier on the bottom. All right, so for falsies today, I'm gonna be using these. I actually wore these yesterday, so that is why they are not in the tray. But these are from House of Lashes in the style Siren, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm gonna be using these today since I do have like a dark eye going on and it's pretty matte. I didn't want a lash that was, you know, too intense. So these are like nice and long and wispy and fluffy and they will really complement the eyes nicely. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So firstly, I'm going to contour. I'll be taking this shade right here from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm using the Models prefer contouring brush and as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheeks with this and I'll be using a look good, feel better eye shading brush to contour my nose. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and to apply it, I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So I'm just running this over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face. I love this bronzer because it's not too orange and I find that some of the other bronzers that I have used in the past have been very orange toned, but this is like the perfect in between. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Morphe 9N Blush Palette and I'm I'm gonna take this shade right here. I've actually never used this shade before. It's kind of like a brown bronzy type of blush with gold shimmer throughout it. So I'm gonna test it out today. Hopefully it looks good. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks ever so lightly and blending it back towards my hairline. I'm just going back in with my powder brush because that was very intense. Like I was not expecting that blush to be so intense, but I don't know, it looks okay. Next up for highlighter, I'm going into the Sleek Cosmetics Cleopatra's Kiss Highlighter Palette. Can we just like the packaging? Yes, it's reflecting off everything right now. So I'm trying to like move it around so you guys don't see my messy background. But if we just look inside like, ooh, that shade right there, that's the one we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to all the areas that I wanna highlight. I'm using the Real Technique setting brush and yeah, just packing this on. I'm pretty sure you guys can see how intense this highlight is right now. I'm obsessed. So last but not least, lip color. You guys can see that I'm holding up this baby right here. This is the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick in Naughty by nature. I should know that off by heart. But as you can see, it's like a really warm brown liquid lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I'm not going in with any lip liner because I feel like with these Too Faced liquid lipsticks, they're really easy to just apply straight to the lips without a lip liner. So yeah, this is the color that I'm going with today. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed, to my channel. Don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button down below before you leave so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I will list everything that I used throughout the video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, I think that's everything. Yeah, all that good stuff is down below. So with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.